Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number six, midway point. And we're going up against an alliance called Gods of MCOC. So let's go ahead and spectate and take a look at the defense here. All right, so we've got a mojo in the middle there. I take path three in sections one and two. And I'm looking here, I see Red Hulk, I see Havoc. So I'm automatically thinking uh, Warlock for that Havoc. And ooh, Immortal Hulk, uh, Warlock could do that fight as well. But honestly, I prefer uh, Nick Fury, but we'll see uh, who else I can bring. Uh, maybe Hercules. Um, let's see. So Warlock for sure. Maybe Hercules. Spider-Man 2099. So really, it's going to depend between Hercules and let me see, Claire. Claire can do those fights. War Warlock can do that fight. Who do we got here? Mmm. Annihilus. I've never fought him with um, Spider-Man 2099. Not sure how well I'll do against him if I do fight him. We'll see. Ugh. I do not like fighting Annihilus, so we'll have to see. But right now, uh, it's looking like uh, Claire, Warlock, and Spider-Man 2099. Uh-huh. Yeah, that should... Should cover it. This one here, though... Hmm. Yeah, Claire can... Handle this one. Warlock can handle that Havoc. And... Warlock could handle that fight as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that fight there. Maybe um, I could take that with Claire, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I may let them uh, take that fight, and I'll take that mojo uh, with my Spider-Man 2099 instead. Yeah, we'll see. That 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 seems to be a better play. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with the team I mentioned. These are the attacker bands. Uh, they didn't affect me, so I didn't have to worry about it. I'm going to start going into that first because uh, what I have been doing was, you know, spectating and i make my plans before i know who the attacker bands are so not this war and probably not the next war but one of the later wars i'm going to start on that screen and do a preview so that i can see who's banned first then go in and look and make my plans all right so anyway first fight is a uh, red hulk and we have fought red hulk in labyrinth of legends a much beefier red hulk so we're not too worried about this red hulk um black widow clairvoyant works out great she can nullify any pesky buffs that may uh pop up here i'm just trying to bait out his special one because sometimes I have issues with that special too. Does some uh, very interesting things and it'll catch me anyway. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep him to a special one and go from there. Uh, that seems to be the easiest way to deal with him. All right, and here we go. And boom, special two, finish him off. Finish the fight with 100% of my health. Good fight, 
Uh, I played it slow. Uh, I don't always play it slow, um, but this time I did. Now, Havoc, as I mentioned earlier, Warlock is a great option for Havoc. And uh, Claire could also do this fight, but there's no way I would bring Claire into here, into this fight, when I have Warlock. So Warlock, because he has that armor up, uh, I don't have to worry about the plasma. And as you can see, we're just tearing him up. He's already less than half his health. Okay, there we go. I did a little uh, re-parry there. Just smacking him back with uh, heavy attacks. And we finished that fight with 100% of our health. So far, so good. We just cleared our lane. And uh, we did so without taking any undue damage. Now, I looked at that Immortal Hulk and I said, you know what? I don't know if I want to mess with him. So I was like, let me just see if somebody else will handle him. And they did. Uh, my alliance mate went ahead and took him. So I was like, okay, good. Didn't have to deal with him. Uh, the middle is already cleared, and I was going to take that mini, but he had taken that mini as well. Again, one of the reasons this happens is because of our time zones. Uh, when I go to bed, they wake up, and so they have many hours while I'm asleep. All right. Um, so anyway, we're in uh, section two, and... Angela, she does get armor up, so I can understand why they put Angela here. Unfortunately, I have Claire. Uh, so it doesn't matter that she has that armor up right there because Claire is about to strip that away from her. Okay. I don't know what was going on with my parries right there. Just would not parry. But there we go. Stripped it away. And uh, as a side note, I can't wait until they bring in the um, new input system. I want to test it. I want to play with it. And I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that uh, a lot of these issues with the parries and all of that will go away. Now, initially, maybe we might have issues. I don't know, but I'm very hopeful, very hopeful. All right, so we got Angela down without any problem. Claire is just awesome for that node. Uh, most folks that you would put on that node, if they have armor up buffs and everything, she's gonna strip them away. Now, MODOK, I have to be careful, all right? Now, even though there is um, the possibility every time I hit into his block, he gets that armor up, and if he gets too many, he's gonna go unblockable. That's explosive personality. But he'll never get there because she strips him away. See, he's up there at two, right? Boom, now he's gone, now they're gone. So don't really have to worry too much about it. He has low block proficiency, so this is great. I timed that because if I didn't time that right, it would have gone all into his block. He would have auto block one and then blocked all the rest of them. Very annoying. And then that happened. And I'm like, are you kidding me? We've been going really good. Look at this. Look at this. I'm like, what in the world is happening? He's got 1% health. I said, I'm not even playing around with it. I was like, we were doing just fine. And that one hit almost took me out. And I was like, okay, what's going on? We got it barely. I got real nervous at the end there. I saw 1% and I'm like, no, nah, if I try to hit him, he's going to intercept me or do something like that. So I just did a Hail Mary because I run suicides. So if that didn't kill him, I would have died to the recoil. So that was literally a last ditch effort on my part to take him out. 
All right, so now we've got uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. You see the nodes we're dealing with here. It's unstoppable armor. Don't really care about that. Uh, I usually do an advanced power boost so that I can at least get a special two off. Okay, so we start a special one. I usually do not play the node. Uh, so I just go right in here. I parry a lot, get the uh, infections up. Now he won't be healing from the buffet or anything like that. And then here we go. Boom. Lots of damage. Okay. Now, I don't get my armor up because Buffet keeps eating it. And normally, that would be really bad. See, it just armor up. He ate it again. Buffet ate it again. But it didn't matter. Um, I have never really played this node the way that I guess you could. I prefer to try to finish the fight quickly. But you can play the node and uh, maybe be able to get off more specials. But I run suicides. I do a lot of damage. Um, so not that big of a deal. Now, I want you guys to see this. Now, I'm sitting here for a little bit because I'm thinking about this. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. All right. Bishop is almost dead. But here's the thing. You know what happens when Bishop dies and he has power, right? I didn't know where they left this Bishop. So I go in here and I'm like, okay, look at this. Special three already. I ain't even do anything. Now I went in, I saw that he had two bars of power and I'm like, okay, okay. Let me bait that out. He hits me to a special three. And I'm looking at this, I'm just like, oh my goodness. I'm happy I didn't die. But now I'm fighting with, with low health. And so I'm just like, okay, we got to go. We got to go. I'm boosted. So at least I got some more. But look at this. Now I'm getting hit. And I'm like, oh no, am I going to get another special three to the face? No, he fires that off. Great. We baited that out. We got it good. We're almost to another special two. And let's get him with another special two. And we got him down. Almost died. I wish there was a better way for me to know how much power he's going to start with. Because if I knew that, I would have just popped an invulnerability boost. And that would have been that, you know. But we survived. We didn't die. I, I was surprised. Okay. Now, this fight here. So you can see here the, the node. And I'm not worried too much about fighting a man thing, but he's tanky. And I was like, okay, the best person really to take this fight in my opinion, was going to be Warlock, who almost just died. So I had to heal him up. And um, I could have used Claire as well, but I think Warlock was the better move. Just the better uh, play for me. All right. Now, see that? That's what I should have done before. But I said, you know what? <laughs> Just in case any shenanigans, let me go ahead and do that. All right. So this is a beefy man thing here. He is quite tanky. All right. Um, you see that power gain. He also heals on his special uh, two. So first thing I wanted to do was to get my infections up. And I want to parry as much as possible. Get as many of my infections up. To control his power okay and then you see here get that special two off didn't do a whole lot of damage did it okay and see i wanted to make sure i, I maintain those infections that is very very important 
because otherwise this fight is going to go much longer. All right. So we just, we don't want him to heal. We really don't want him to heal. I hit him with a heavy, didn't matter. He's, he, he can't be bled. He has no blood. Um, but any damage that I could do, I wanted to do. Okay. So here, boom. We're just keeping the infections on him. And that's pretty much what we're going to do for this entire fight here. Okay. Um, we're doing okay. We've lost some health. But we've got him almost to half health. Almost. All right. And I'm looking at the time. Every time I'm taking those hits. Just look at this. He hasn't hit me actually yet. But look at the damage that I'm taking. Okay. Okay. Uh, hit him with a special three. And he's below 50% health at this point. So I'm like, okay, 38% health. We're good. All right. Power burned. Love that special three. But just look at the damage I take into my block. Look at that damage. Okay, so at this point, I'm like, man, I can't keep taking a lot of these uh, blocked hits. We got to try to bait out as many specials. All right, let's look at this. Oh, so I, I actually tried to evade that one. I'm bad about it. And if I had messed up, that would have been game over right there. Okay, so he's at 11% health now. You notice that I'm firing my special threes. Because I run suicides, I don't want to take more recoil damage considering the uh, damage I'm taking to my block already. Look at that. 2%. 2% health. And he's down. So uh, a rather longish fight, but we got her done. Now, I didn't get a chance to fight the boss. I really didn't want to fight that Annihilus. Um, I could have with Spider-Man 2099, but I really don't like fighting Annihilus. I'm not uh, that good at it. Okay, so I didn't fight him. Uh, and, uh, I don't remember if we got him down, but, uh, we'll take a little brief break and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we actually lost this war. Now I was very upset at losing this war. We were in the lead and I just knew we had this war won. We were ahead of them by several deaths. And when I saw that we did not down a boss, I don't I can't even explain how upset that made me. And I asked a question, you know, how did we not down a boss? That's like the minimum. And apparently there was some miscommunication. They apologized. They're, um, they made some adjustments so that that won't happen. And it's the first time and only time that it's happened. All right. So I'm cool um, as long as it doesn't happen again. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.